built and let strawber. The strobe light or strobostic lamp, commonly known as a strober, is a device used to produce regular flashes of light. The light source commonly used in the strober is a xenon flash lamp, which manages a temperature of approximately 5600 degrees Kelvin. This makes some durable and high risks of burning the device. Having in mind economy and durability, we have used LEDs instead of the obsolete xenon bulbs. LEDs or light emitting diodes allow today to make a new lighting system, working at very low temperatures, giving a greater efficiency, lower environmental pollution and work intermittently for extended periods of time. As our primary purpose is to transmit basic concepts of electronics to practical projects, a way of achieving a better understanding of this circuit is to mount a breadboard from the schematic. We recommend doing this setup before building the circuit board. Operation This strobe light system is powered by a single source designed without a transformer. It incorporates a tank circuit formed by a capacitor of 2.2 microfarad polyester and a resistance of 330K. After these two components limit the current to about 60 mA, is rectified by a diode bridge and a capacitor. Like this voltage is high, is reduced to 6 volts by a thinner diode with its respective polarization resistor. The 555 is an integrated circuit used to generate oscillations and time delays of accuracy. In this case, we will use it to make a stable oscillator. The working frequency is set by a potentiometer, a pair of resistor, and a capacitor. The 555 is responsible for controlling the transistor that acts as a switch. Let's slide up. The signal delivered the 555 square foot in tree goes through around a 10K resistor to the base of the 2N3904 transistor. The sender of this goes to ground and collector receives the voltage via 10K resistor and it turns is connected to the base of another transistor. The collector of other 2N3904 is in series with the LEDs that are powered from the positive of the diode bridge before the center diode limiting resistor. When the 555 sends a positive voltage, the transistor Q1 between emitter and collector leads, negatively biasing the base of transistor Q2. At this time, Q2 does not conduct and therefore does not turn the LEDs on. By the time the 555 sends a negative pulse, the first transistor Q1 does not lead a positively polarized base of a transistor Q2, making driving. At the moment you turn the LEDs on, this cycle is repeated at high speed, producing the effect of flashing light. Construction After downloading from our website the PDF file with a list of materials, wiring diagram and the PCB, we must begin to build the oscillator card. They should put all the components using the mass as a guide and review components truly before soldering. If you have no experience in assembling electronic project, we be sure to read our section of recommendations. Having built the oscillator and circuit, we must make the panel of 80 LEDs. We will use the lid of an ice cream jar. Mask is printed components found in the PDF file and then counted with scissors. Paste the mask pattern on the cap and components with the help of a drill. Drill all the holes where the LEDs will go later. Let's place it at the top, considering that all the LEDs stayed with its negative pole facing the left side. In other words, the opposite of clockwise. To identify the polarity of the LED, we know that the short leg is negative. 
If I mistake and let this place upside down, the circuit will not start. We bend the legs of the LEDs and cut to sufficient size so that the leg is positive for each LED with LED negative leg immediately following. At this point, we must realize the voltage to fit our circuit. If in our country we have a voltage of 220 on the public, we must make a single series from start to finish with the 80 LEDs. But if we have a voltage of 120 volts, should do two sets of 40 LEDs. Having made the connection of LEDs, proceed to weld their fit, joining all the LEDs together. Be careful not to melt the plastic link, make good welds and quickly. Now comes the installation of the oscillator circuit in the bowl of ice cream. Must be made three holes in the back, one for the knuckle of the potentiometer shaft or another to fit the pinup pot. And at the bottom there is another hole where the power card exit the circuit. Card is installed to ensure the pot with a nut and washer. It is important before removing the power cord, tie a nut so that when we pull in the cable do not go to abuse the circuit. The sheet will serve as a strobe support that bend by an U. At each end to make a hole using a drill bit the same diameter as the screw that adjusts the blade to the jar. We do a couple of holes on the sides of the bowl and put the screws holding it with foil, leaving the butterflies on the outside. So you can adjust to your preference and to change the angle of the strobe. Connecting the LED panel with the oscillator circuit. The connection I see is for a supply of 120 volts. If your country the utility voltage is 220 volts, should be placed in series of all 80 LEDs and additional wires while untie the two parallel series. Only two wires will oscillator circuit to panel LEDs. In the end we put the power card plug. We place a step switch on and off our strobe. We have our strobe light strobe terminated. We can use it at our parties in the establishments or play next to our video jukebox, encouraging the Roomba giving a disco atmosphere to our business. We hope that this project is also very useful and contribute their knowledge in electronics. Success!